Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number five, I believe, of the GDL, the Gallup Defenders League. We are up against Max Rapture and his Tasmanian Toxic Rogues. And uh, this is going to be a really tough one. Uh, we've had an interesting season, but um, yeah, this is one of the most um, uncomfortable matchups for me. I think it's going to be one of the worst matchups that I have all season. It was just a really difficult build, and Dracovich is just going to be such a monster in this matchup in general. I really don't know how I'm going to manage a lot of what he has for me here. But uh, just a lot of what he has directly counters um, what I want to do in this matchup. But I'm just going to get right into it. I'm not sure how strong this build is. I'm not sure how um, strong this kind of my team interacts with his in general. But it's going to be an uphill match, right? And I really want... There's so much that I wanted to do here. But so much, so many things that I felt restricting me here. Okay, so we will see the Rhyperior, Dracovish, Cor uh, Corsola... Uh, Sovali, Gardevoir, and Cobalion. So right off the bat, no Jolteon, no Orbeetle, no Tangrowth, no Umbreon. No Umbreon is insane. Wow, no Umbreon. Okay, 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 okay. That is incredibly interesting to me. But no Umbreon, no Tangrowth, um, no Orbeetle, no Jolteon. Those are all very, very nuts to me. No Ditto is also huge. Um, I don't know what I would want to lead off here. Um... I don't know what I'd want to lead off with here. Um, I don't know. I, part of me feels naked without my Serena. I love Serena. Um, part of me just wants to lead off with... Hmm. I think... I mean, I think I make the standard lead and go with... Um, and go with the... Primarina here, which I'm going to do... Sorry, I just had a right good luck have fun, but, um, wow, I, I really restrained myself. I only brought one scarf this week. So, okay, my team is, in general, it's, it's full of a lot of mods that, I, that are really fun to use, but they're really fun to use, like, when they're scarfed, and they're kind of like a, a, a surprise scarf. So, a team full of surprise scarves um, has been really awkward for me to build with. I think I've really um, underestimated how awkward this my team really works together, um, and I don't know. It, it, there's a distinct like lack of synergy in, in the way that I built this team, but out comes the the Gardevoir, um, which is pretty not good as far as things go. I don't know what to do here. Okay, I think I would want to, huh? I mean, part of me just wants to go out into the. Indeedy here. I think most things I could do are pretty bad here. I don't know. Um, I could go for the super big risk and just go into this guy. I don't think you'd want to Moonblast here, right? I don't know. I also don't even think it matters a little a lot if he does go for the Moonblast. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, if I get Moonblasted, then that would be obviously pretty bad. But, unfortunately... Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, with the Dracovish there... Uh, ah, we just don't take it. Oof. Unfortunately, with the Dracovish there... I, I couldn't risk my Primarina, which is something that I should have understood earlier. It is Life Orbed. Which is interesting, but I don't know. Does that mean that that Cinderace can just come in and just try to d do some stuff? Um, what is this thing called? Guard of War. Life Orb surprises me, honestly. Life Orb surprises me. Powerball should always KO as long as I land. Um. It does invite in. Yeah, I mean, it's a good place. Any, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to play around this. 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 Um. I don't want to play around this Dracovish too, too badly. But at the same time, man, I should. I should probably just U-turn, right? I should probably just U-turn. I don't know. See if I want to. Play. Well, I'm gonna invite in the Dracovish no matter what happens, right? I don't think he even has to predict. I, but this card of war out of the way is going to be huge for me, I think. I think I... Mm, 
I don't know. I don't know. It says what's wrong. Okay. So that's just a 50-50 that I just happen to call right. I don't think um, that was a particularly good or bad play. I just think I just happen to call that right. And I could have very easily called that one wrong. Um, goes into the course low. And this will kind of... I don't know what this allows me to do. It does It does allow me to go... I could go into the Charisma, which is the thing, right? It does kind of allow me to go into the Charisma. Which I might just do. I think I... I don't know, man. This is so bad, but also Necrozma is such a good is in a good situation with just a single iron defense. Which is the craziest thing here, right? But I think I have to click sub. And if I could take one of the problematic Pokemon with me, then I'm in a really interesting position. I'm in a very interesting position. Except the Gardevoir. Yeah. There's probably something I you only do once the Gardevoir is down. Which is totally fair. Um, I'm a little bit impatient. I guess I just got a little bit impatient here. Especially if this thing is life orbed. Yeah, Moonblast is just doing so much damage to me. So. Okay, a sub here is big. Um. There's the Nightshade, which uh, will not break the sub. And it's going to let me get back to almost where I started. And it will let me get a Toxic off on this thing or something. Um, but I but I do kind of force him to, to want a Nightshade here. He could, I mean, try to try to sit up and, and like try to just get up rocks but and, and give me an extra free turn. But um, that would feel... Not the best line in the situation. Let's go for another Nightshade. So I do end this interaction with almost as much HP as I started. Um, the only thing that truly sucks here is that um, I still have to manage the Gardevoir somehow. And I kind of think that I want to go out here. Right, and I'm just gonna have to try to like figure something out. Um, but yeah, the Gardevoir is a huge, huge problem right now. I'd be curious to know if this is so folly dark as well. That turn one was awful. That turn one was truly, truly awful. But yeah, like I said, I I came into the, I, I came into this matchup really unconfident, and uh, I think it's really kind of affecting me in a way that I don't like. But I'm trying to think this through. I'm trying to think this through, right? So Um I would I would be I would not be surprised at all if I get either Stealth or Actor Toxic on this turn. I does withdraw. Um goes into the Silvali. Silvali steal. That's interesting. I mean it would have given me another free sub. Which is very interesting. What is this? Silvali so normal. I mean, I think I just kind of go for it, right? I think I just kind of go for it. Leading Free Marina was probably uh, the worst option that I could have gone for because um, the Free Marina is so necessary to not lose to the Drake of Ish. And truthfully, my best lead might have just been we do have speed and get an expanding force off. Just barely miss out on the on the on the KO as he U turns for a straight up KO. So that's neat. Um That had to be banded, right? I feel like that had to be banded. There's no way that wasn't banded. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I mean, that was indeed his debut. That was indeed his debut, and, uh... One could say, well, I don't know, I don't know. Either way. I'm gonna try to figure something out here. Um... This is tough. I think... I mean, he has no reason not... I mean, he also just has no reason not to go into Dracovich, too. 
Can I try to get up rocks? Gardevoir is also moderately oppressive. Okay. Okay, now this time I for sure just click Pyroball. This time I for sure just click Pyroball. Um... The Corsal is an, a, a huge possibility once again, but I don't know, man. At this point, at this point, I think I, re I think I kind of rely on Necrozma, right? And the, and the crazy thing is, Necrozma could do it. Um, no Moonlight is a huge problem, but. The only thing, if I get Iron Defenses up, then the only thing that's not... That's gonna take less than two hits would be the Night Sheets, right? I would be sitting mo moderately pretty if... There's the course slot. No? Goes into... This guy. Okay. Well, what does that mean for me? I, mean, I don't want to give up the, the, this thing either because, so here's the thing, right? I'd be really curious to know if this thing goes for rocks here, which would allow my, my, What's it? My... If this thing go, 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 goes for rocks, it would, it would allow my sand slash to, to go for a rapid spin. It was for toxic. As I avoid it. Interesting. Okay. I think this thing... Did, did I put toxic on this? As well? It did, yeah. Um, I think, honestly, he might just go... I mean, Dracovish is super free for him here. I, I don't think... I think he would expect me to set up to want to set up rocks, and he would want to go into Dracovish. I think. I think honestly, this is the free Dracovish of his career if he if he goes for it right now, which is kind of the position that I would want to be in. And if it allows me to kind of, do we see the Dracovish? I don't know what that is. It's Dracovish. Okay. Okay, that's very interesting because now I get rocks up, and. I get fishes rented on, which is not good. But uh, the toxic is gonna, yeah, he's he's gonna very rightfully be upset about the toxic because of this. Um, but to be fair, yeah, I I, I really did think that he was going to want to set up rocks in that situation. There's the fishes rend. There's the focus ash. And there's the counter. Um, I mean, I guess that's how we draw it up, but, uh, with a mix, with a Mist Toxic in there, and it allows me to kind of play my, my Pre-Marina a lot more freely, which means that I may or may not now have a switch into, to, um, to Gardevoir, but even that's super dubious, and I still need to deal with the Gardevoir in order for, um, Necrozma to do something, but Necrozma's in a really good position now. Necrozma's in a really good position now. And and being able to take rocks and... Being able to take rocks here and... Um, and around a life orb is huge here. That's huge. Because it's going to... Put me in an interesting position with my Cinderace. It's gonna put me in a really interesting position with my Cinderace. I'm trying to think. Um, if I go into Cinderace now, oh no! If I go into Cinderace now, then I have to just click Pyro Wall. Which might be problematic for the... Actually, do I have to? Because... 
No, I do have to. I don't really have a, a choice here. Now, could you turn again, assuming that the Rapier comes back in? But that's so dubious. I don't think he's... I don't think he has to play that game. And High Jump Kick isn't doing much of anything either. Huh. I think... Hmm. I don't know how to play this. This is, again, going to just be a 50-50 that one of us is going to get right and one of us is going to get wrong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Oh, my God. Okay, that was so stressful. That was so stressful. But we do call that somewhat correctly. Now, that allows in my Primarina. And my Primarina, I mean... Just about picks up KO. I would I would have to assume that he sacks off the Silvali here. That would make the most sense to me. Sacking off the Silvali. Also, this is a completely move point, but I but I forgot that I um th that in order to fit counter on, on the set, I didn't have um rapid spin on my um on my sand slash, so I so that was never an option for for, for me to go for. I, know, I, I, was, I mentioned that like 20 turns ago. I could also flip turn here. Is flip turning work? Because flip turning... Flip turning would help me a lot. Oh, quite a bit. Actually, would it? No, Scald might always be the best play. Yeah, I think Scalding is always going to be the best play. Because if he sacks off Silvali, then flip turning allows me to go into my Cinderace. But that doesn't help me because then that just allows in the Rhyperior again. Oh, it goes down to... Well, he doesn't know my item at all. I mean, Gardevoir probably comes in at this point, right? I mean, how much damage am I doing to a Galarian Corsola? I have no idea. I've, I don't think I've ever run a count against a Galarian Corsola. Like, in my life. Um, it's probably... Ma okay, so Max Defense is, like, the standard set in, the, in this thing. And... I mean, first of all, it doesn't matter because this thing comes in, but just out of curiosity. Oh my god, Moonblast is doing absolutely nothing. Okay, okay. This is a not great position to be in. I want to click flip turn like a lot. I want to click flip turn quite a bit here. Because flip turning would allow me to go into Cinder. No, no, I don't think so. I think, I think Scalding is always best. He wants to get... He wants to deal with a, my best Rhyperior check, is my sense of things. He wants to deal with my best Rhyperior check. Um, what else do I have in the back? I, uh, yeah, I think I can just scald here. There's the energy ball, which is not great, but I can't imagine... Yeah. Yeah. So, Nanochrosma is in a really interesting position. Oh, that doesn't even KO. Is that is that like a Salt Vested or something? Oh, no, it's Life Warped. It's just really... De yeah, it's just really defensive. Um, He could play off of, off of Prediction here. But... Man, Flip Turning was actually the optimal play, which is nuts to me. That's nuts to me. I don't know how to play this. Because I don't think Galarian Corsola is going to be my answer here. Or sorry. I don't think Cinderace is going to be my answer here. Um... But giving up Cinderace feels foolish here. But I don't know, man. Honestly, okay, so, so this is super interesting because now I'm at the position where Max Knuckle takes, probably takes this thing out. Right? Goes for the Moonblast. Um, but that's super interesting because he, he could proactively go out into the Galarian Corsola. So he would either go out into the Galarian Corsola or into the into the 
Rhyperior. Um, one of them would either give me one pl plus one speed or plus one attack. Well, I guess he's just not. He's just, he's just gonna stay in and, and let me get to plus one attack regardless. But that's super interesting because I wonder if I, if I get to the point where Rhyperior. Or I can manage right here. I do not get to that point. Uh, and I don't think I ever take a hit from right here either. I don't. I don't. Yeah, this could have been a big mistake. But at the same time, I don't know. Gardevoir is still the thing that's stopping my... Is still the thing that's stopping my Necrozma. So maybe Necrozma is my answer. If I get... If Cinderace... Because, yeah. I, I kept telling myself that my Cinderace is never going to be my answer, right? So... If I put myself in a position where... Um... Where Cinderace gets value out of getting damage out of the Rhyperior... Then that's potentially my path, right? Because Rhyperior comes in, it KOs my, my Cinderace in exchange for some damage. Um, it KOs in exchange for some damage. And... Then Primarina comes in. Um... Primarina comes in, threatens. Primarina comes in, threatens Scald. I mean, now that this thing is gone, he probably gives up the, the Rhyperior, right? Which then, I mean, it, the the last two mons being Corsola and and the last two mons being Corsola and Cobalion, Necrozma. Abuses, I think. I think I'm thinking about that correctly. But at the same time... I mean, I, ha I have to know. I just have to know. What kind of damage is Flip Turn doing? Not nearly enough. Oh my god, not nearly enough. But yeah, this feels... I mean, like an easy scald. I, I don't think he really has to keep this up for much longer. Because of my... Although this would have been... Probably a, a better Mon to kind of set up Iron Defenses on. So, who knows. But... Cobalion could come in. Cobalion could come in. And... I think I take any hit from Cobalion? Is that right? From, from a non-banded Cobalion? Oh, I mean, only because I'm, I'm max defensive, but it feels correct to me. Um, honestly, could I life do on it? If I don't get... I feel like I should test this. Okay, I'm at 90 HP. This could be a huge misplay, but I'm at 90 HP. I'm just so curious. I start the turn at 90 HP. I go down to 48. I go down to 48, and I'm up to 94 before leftovers. So this thing is nowhere near, like, super offensive. And he's almost out of time as well. Um, he could be scarfed into this. I wouldn't be surprised. There's the flinch, which is, I mean, not the worst thing in the world. But the point is that I'm now in a position where I believe I can two, I can um, 1v1 this thing, which would be huge. Even after a, a flinch, um, I'm only ending this turn at like 73 HP. Um, I just want to put myself in a position where Primarina could potentially 1v1 this Cobalion. And if I could pull that off, then my Necrozma never has any problem dealing with Galerian Corsola. I think this is just to kind of like solidify things, right? I think I, I want to play this. You know, as safely as possible, especially... Oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. Please don't also flinch me. Okay. 
Um, I'm, I'm only playing this way because I don't want to put my Necrozma in a position where Necrozma potentially gets a beat by this thing and then and then I can't beat both his uh, both the remaining mods with with um with Necrozma. I don't even know how much eight, uh, PP Life Dew has, to be honest. Um, maybe this isn't worth it at all. And now, honestly, I don't, I don't know. Like, if I get flinched, then maybe I deserve it, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. I just want to play this out in the safest way possible, but I'm really... Goes for the taunt. Okay. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. But I don't think that matters. Okay, so here's the thing, right? On a standard Cobalion... Um, Moonblast secures the KO, but Skull has a chance to burn, which would, I think, seal it. Um, there's the flinch, but I think I'd take another one, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> but no, actually, that, okay, so that would have put me in a position where, 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 where I could have 1v1, right? Because I think, because I think I'd take another one here. And I would have gotten off two Moonblasts under normal circumstances. I think. Yeah. So, the flinch pretty aggressively mattered, I'm pretty positive. But, um, regardless, regardless, I can go into Necrozma, and judging off of that damage, I'm not the most confident that, that, um, a single photon geyser is going to be able to do it, but at the same time, I don't particularly think that it matters. Um, I also don't think that this is um, the strongest um, Cobalion, so I don't think this is going to do a whole heck of a lot of damage. Um, regardless, photon geyser is probably my play. I could iron defense and and get his and be behind a sub for the Corsola. I don't think that's worth. I don't think that's worth it. Um, goes for the Volt Switch. That's interesting to me. That's very interesting. I hope I'm not forgetting anything, right? I, I believe that the Corsola should be the last Mon remaining. I believe the Corsola should be the last Mon remaining. Yeah. So, a Photon Geyser will be pretty strong here. Um... And yeah, by the looks of it, I should be able to get a sub up. And another Photon Geyser plus Toxic Damage should be able to do it here. Should be able to do it here. And he can't Strength Sap me, which is kind of this thing's deal, right? I think that's how... That's the, Oh no, does this thing get recovered? I know regular Corsola does. Yeah, I can't be Strength Sapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that puts me in a, in a solid position. Now I can Iron Defense up. Um, and uh, I'll finally reveal my my final move. And um, I think that should just about seal it. Uh, this was a hard-fought one. I, I, I feel really bad. I, I, I guess I kind of relied on that um, Toxic Miss. That was super unfortunate. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think I just had a, an awful matchup, and I think um, without that toxic miss, I'd have been put in, in in a truly awful position. I'd have been put in a truly awful position. But at the same time, I should have identified better the position that I was in with my Primarina because Primarina could have gotten two moon blasts off, um, and obviously I got like flinched and critted and, and stuff like that. So it was always um, going to be problematic for me. But, uh, I believe Necrozma should be able to click Photon Geyser twice and leave with a win here. Oh, okay. Well, I got Curse Bodied. So that's neat. Um, I can sub up. Because I think my sub is down to just a few HP. I can sub up and then Iron Defense again. I don't think I can get... Um... 
Oh, I'm gonna type to him and say sorry, my only attack is disabled. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try just to be sure, yeah. I'm just gonna say... Sorry, my only attack is disabled. That was a crit! Um... But that's okay. I, I, I mean, I saw from from when I wasn't behind a sub that um, it wasn't doing nearly enough damage. I can Iron Defense up again and hopefully shake off the... Uh... I mean, he got Taunt me. I, actually, Taunting me would, would cause me to struggle. Taunting me would cause me to struggle. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he didn't realize it. I guess, yeah. Well, I, I actually, I, I literally just told him that I only had one attack. Um, but yeah, taunting would have caused me to struggle. That's, that's actually genuinely wild to think about. Um, but I believe I get my Photon Geyser back now? Or do I have to wait one more turn? Yeah. Okay. I really don't think that, um... I really don't think that another Volt Switch takes out my sub. Maybe it does? Oh, it does. Okay. That's fine. Um, I, I I mean, I could Iron Head flinch crit me, but um, it doesn't feel the most likely. Um, I don't know. This was a, this is a super awkward match. I still don't feel the best about um the way certain sequences played out. I mean, the the rapier missing toxic was huge. There's no doubt about it. There's just no way around that. There's just absolutely no way around that. But. Uh, we're finally going to pick up another win. Um, GG to Max. It was a really fun match. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the GDL. As well as more weeks of the ABL coming up really, really soon. Um, the ABL has been a ton, a ton of fun. This was GDL. I think I drafted in a way that's made it awkward to build. So that's kind of just how I'm out here right now. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And everyone, once again, out.